Well, hello there. Welcome back to Nick and Jeff. I'm Nick and I'm going to do a video I haven't done for a very long time. I loved this game so much that I'm going to tell you why it's going to win Game of the Year 2024. Let's check out Black Myth Wukong. Now, for those of you who don't know, Black Myth Wukong is a semi-linear open world kind of game that's very similar to Elden Ring, Bloodborne, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, that kind of thing. It's got challenging bosses, it's got challenging enemies, except when you die, you don't really lose any progress or currency. And the most amazing thing is that it's actually made by a team called Game Science, which has only made two other games before Wukong. When I first saw Black Myth Wukong, I thought it was going to be a retelling of the story Journey to the West, a classic Chinese novel that inspired some big anime like Dragon Ball and One Piece. But in fact, this story takes place after Journey to the West. You're not playing as the Monkey King, you're actually playing as the Destined One on a journey to revive the Monkey King, and it's so cool. What does it matter if you become a Buddha? That headband has always been on your head. <laughs> Keep those eyes wide open. Watch me rip it off and break free. One of the main reasons I think this is going to win Game of the Year is just some of the environments you get to explore. This game is absolutely beautiful. You go from forests to deserts to caves to snow to volcanoes to just like beautiful mountains, and there's so many secrets to discover along the way. It is so much fun. Now I know some people are going to disagree with me here because of the lack of variation in combos and stances, but I found the combat in this game to be so much fun. I did three playthroughs of this game and got the Platinum Trophy, and I never ever got bored of the combat. In fact, I found it more fun with each playthrough. It's just so satisfying. There's so many amazing things I want to say about this game. Even something as intricate and difficult as the sound design is just incredible for the third game a studio has made. It might not have any memorable tracks like Final Fantasy VII, but as you wander about the world and as you hit enemies with your staff, everything just sounds perfect and feels great. Another thing I found really satisfying in this game is the progression system. Even after three playthroughs and reaching level 300, I still haven't unlocked the entire skill tree. On top of that, there are dozens and dozens of pieces of armor you can find with special bonuses that you can equip to suit your playstyle. And to add to it even further, there's about 10 different staffs you can find in the game, and if you find all the items that you need to level them up, they can get really, really powerful. <laughs> Like I said, I could talk all day as to why I think this game deserves to be Game of the Year, but I probably should wrap it up. When you look at the fact that it is the third game this studio has made, on top of the fact that it's just so well done, it's so beautiful, it's so much fun, the music is great, the gameplay is great, the setting is great, and it's something different and fun for games. There's no microtransactions, it's just pure fun. This game has my absolute seal of approval, and I'm telling you, don't sleep on it. It is a fantastic game. You should buy it. You won't waste your time or money. I think it is fantastic. And with that, that's all from me. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next Nick and Jeff. Now I'm the king of swingers from the jungle.